Our next performance is from Satyam A2. This year, Satyam classes learnt positive values through the English alphabet. Each alphabet taught them a specific value through the bhajan, story, or shloka. The theme for the Satyam A2 presentation is based on the word Ram. Alphabet R represents respect and righteousness, A represents ahimsa, and alphabet M represents mother. To respect is to honor the worth of others and one's own self. We must love and respect our elders and teachers. Our role model for respect is Lord Rama. Lord Rama was always respectful to his parents. He was obedient. When his parents asked him to go to the forest for 14 years, he smiled and accepted it. Let's get immersed into a melodious bhajan on Lord Rama. Start. sunshine. This tree loved a little boy. And its heart would pound when it heard the patter of his footsteps approaching. <laughs> Hello, tree. How have you been? <laughs> The boy would always run to the tree right after school. The boy and the tree understood each other's hearts and became best friends. Time drifted by, and soon the boy became a young man. He grew more and more busy and could not come to visit the tree as often as before. Then one day... I need some money, but... I don't know where to get it. I can't be happy without money. 
You can pick my fruit and sell it. That would make some money. Ah,、uh, can I? Would that make you happy? Oh, it would. Thank you, tree. <laughs> The boy gathered the tree's ripe, delicious fruit and loaded it onto his bicycle. Goodbye, tree. Thank you. I'll see you soon. But he didn't come again for a long, long time. And the tree began to grow lonely. Then one day he was back. He was all grown up now. The tree rustled its leaves happily to greet him. Wow, you really are all grown up. I am, but I don't even have a house, and I don't know how to raise a family. <sighs> Here, you can have my branches. Build your house with them, and be happy. The boy took the tree's branches and loaded them into his wagon. The tree watched him leave the forest to build his new house. Then one night, the boy came to visit. He was weak and tired, and it broke the tree's heart to see him. But I think I would be happy if I could just have a boat. If I could lie in a boat in the sunshine, swaying on the ocean, then I'd be happy. If that's what you really want, cut me down. And make a boat. So the boy cut down the tree and made a boat to sail away in. My home has changed. Is the tree still there in its place? The boy dragged himself up the hill with a great effort and found the tree waiting in its place. Tree, you are still here. Oh! The tree saw that the boy had grown old. I'm sorry. I really want to give you something, but I'm just an old stump. That's okay. I am old and tired. All I want is a quiet place to rest. That's all. My stump is the best place for that. Come here and sit on me. All my life I have come here to take from you, and I've always wanted to leave. But this was the only place I could be at peace. Thank you. Thank you.、Mm. The tree and the boy watched the sunset together <laughs> as he told it about his life. And they were both very happy. A mother gives unconditional love and dedication to her children. This is the foundation upon which our life is built. We need to appreciate, acknowledge, love, and respect. All mothers and all motherly entities for their contribution in our lives. Here is a shloka dedicated to mother. <laughs>